Hello everyone, and welcome to Renval, where we are going to attempt to just breeze through this. Um, I checked, there's not really any good lootables from the enemies except door keys. There's a few shamans with flux to worry about. Torado is um, just not, he's very bulky, but not very threatening. Um, so hopefully this should be a nice easy cleanup. I do need to actually go over and probably just rescue Ephraim or else things could get a little bit um, dicey with the reinforcements from the side, but we'll see how that goes. Um, or we will start by feeding Natasha experience because we want more Mage Knights even though we don't have the guiding rings at the moment. 2 HP is very nice. I could actually just dance her if I felt like it. Alright, so those two can't reach. Erica can take care of... He can go all the way up there. And Joshua can only get to the first one. Gilliam can kind of go up there. Oh. Um. Oh wait, the hatch is actually really good. Yeah, we can just go for the hatchet. Forgot that the hatchet was just amazing from this, from that, and then. Okay, so I will need someone to. Okay, Vanessa can handle that, so we can just have Erica come up here and take care of the uh, poison axe soldier. Keep it nice and simple. Um, hello, Colm. Let's see. So let's We're just going to keep this simple. That is a 100%. Wait. Does this bishop have... No, that's not a bishop. That was a sage. Why do they have slayer? Or a monk? Okay. Theoretically, I could dance Joshua to go after the archer. That seems like a decent plan to see if I can get the... His axes are pretty good. Yeah, the hatchet one-shots, but doesn't... Yeah. Oh, Iron Axe also one-shots. We'll just go roll 268s with the Iron Axe. Especially since Colm was available for backup. Alright, zero, zero defense Myrmidon. Let, we can roll with that, probably. Alright, you have to be careful of that shaman, but I don't think there's any reason to... Yeah, that's actually pretty low accuracy, so... I'm pretty sure that Troubadour and the... This Myrmidon is going to come towards us. I'm going to send, preemptively send Garcia and Cole this way to just make sure that everything is nice and safe for the rendezvous and Gilliam actually is invincible I forgot so we'll just put Gilliam here to make sure that they come this way and we'll just use the iron lance because I forgot Gilliam had a ton of defense yeah no speed but tons of defense so great for sending experience to Natasha. All right, Ephraim's back. How far can these guys move? They can move enough to hit Ford, who is who doesn't have a level up item. And these guys actually hit decently hard. Okay. So, with that in mind, 
first thing to do is take care of the back because that is the simplest thing to do. Now, how far can I... So Gilliam, I think, could theoretically just clog that, which is hilarious if I dance Gilliam. And it doesn't actually impede anybody. I think it just requires... Um, yeah, it just requires Ford to take out um, this first... Yeah, that, that's perfect. It's just, first soldier goes down, Gilliam can block that up, and then we are safe to rendezvous and completely ignore the other side of the map, at least for a little bit. Yeah, he has the hammer, so we'll make sure to not accidentally walk into that. Do I just use the tar Nah, I'll just save the Toxin Lance. We'll just use the Iron Lance. Three damage on Gilliam is not that big of a deal. And you have a Slim Sword. Okay. Okay, so Hatchet... Hatchet will one-shot. Flux takes them out, and then as long as Colm is able to clean up if Joshua misses, yes. Right, we can actually just stand on the um, on the pillar due to 100% uh, hit rate. Yeah, Vanessa, so long as it doesn't tank or move, probably is going to get a Guiding Ring, just because Dark Magic has been very good this file. Alright, so we're not going to stand in range of the Javelin guy, and we're going to Huck Hatchets at this guy. Alright, so now everyone is... Wait, this guy doesn't have a jab, so Calm can actually just come in and finish here. Calm could have actually started that. I guess Gilliam got a little bit of experience. Do we just run everyone this way now? It's probably honestly easier, because then... Well, we don't have to worry about the, uh, it'll be a lot easier to bait the Shaman out this way. Or, let's just do some checks. 37. Of course, I still have her have the Knight's Crest. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. We could build support, but we are gonna deposit this Knight's Crest so we don't forget. And we'll just send Garcia this way. And we'll rendezvous in the middle because apparently. Um, Seth and uh, Erica and Natasha is just going to be good enough to take that, hopefully. Darn double attack steel lance. That's not a brave lance. Yeah, and that pure water is... Uh, Pretty essential. Hmm. 
10, 14, perfect. Wait, that's... Shaman, go away. Come again another day. Or don't, because we're just busy. We're here to get treasure, clean up, and promote units. Um, do I have anyone down here? It's actually just Joshua, right? Yeah, it's Joshua and Gilliam competing for the Knight's Crest. Or at least competing to have enough experience to use for the Knight's Crest. Rotten Claw, Dorky. Alright, what do you have? Hammer. Okay. Do I have a heal staff? No, I just don't have, I don't have a regular heal staff, so I'll just use a ball. Perfectly unoptimal. All right. <laughs> Poor Gilliam just getting doubled everywhere. All right, no reinforcements. Archer did not move to trigger that. That's 21, so a crit would be a decent amount. If we got, so Steel Lance could theoretically get us there. Well, it's early on if we're not living vicariously, but living vicariously and throwing for content. Who, who is going to do that? Or this archer is going to walk forward and shoot Seth. Well, something fun is going to happen over there. Whether or not it's good for whether or not it's good for content or a good plan, we will find out. Nice one hundred and percent hit rate. Very opposite of what steel axes usually do. Max cap speed, no no defense. Perfect. I probably should have checked that those ranges, but I think this should they're one short anyway, so that will allow Vanessa to move up, take out this guy who hits like a truck but can't aim. Oh nice, I can actually just put Gilliam there. I think everyone just keeps moving forward. And eventually Seth and everyone will get through the other side. Alright, get that nice defense level up and then we won't have to worry about this. Perfect.
And now even if the Steel Sword crits, we should live. Perfectly calculated. skill and we got the strength level up. Let's go. Alright, now do we need to be Iron Lance? So that could hurt and that could also theoretically hurt. However, that should be more than enough to take care of everybody. Alright, we've got Gilliam to level 9 and he got A speed level. Alright. Okay, wait, that's only 10 attack. Well, we've got 10 defense, so I guess we'll just bite the armor guy. All right, let's see what we get. Killer Axe. Well, that's not... It's pretty light, so it's not the worst item I've seen. Another good level for Natasha. She can actually probably just go take out the spider. Where do I put Gilliam in front of Vanessa to make sure that... Nah. Okay, with five units and only three dudes, that should be enough. Maybe I should have used Flux, probably. Yeah, probably should have used Flux, but that works. Okay, so that guy's a problem, but we have a minute to deal with him. Actually, do I just send Gilliam up to deal with this guy? Yeah, I think I just take have Garcia take him out to make sure no one gets poisoned, since I don't think I have a restore staff on this side, but... Oh, I should fight these guys first. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, bows are trash, so I have to go for the Gilliam, the Defense King, or try and, who is probably in line first for it, honestly. Alright, Kyle hits harder, so... This guy has more HP and defense, so there we go. We don't get to see Kyle's animations because no idea. Probably just because I forgot to turn them on since the 
since he um, left the party. Now everyone just runs back this way. Alright, so Gilliam definitely has more levels to... Well, Gilliam has fewer levels to go through to get to 10 to get the Knight's Crest, and he does get promotion bonuses. So, that is useful. Now, one of these guys had a longbow, I remember. Yeah, but he can't reach anyone. So we can actually just go sit here. And you're going to go after the spider. That's enough to just doing mental math leaps to make sure that Seth doesn't die if he has, um, if I say the pure water. I did not realize that that guy actually did move. Good dodge, Seth. Finally coming in and not needing to be babysat. Alright, the longbow, rod and claw, and poison sword all do negligible to no damage. So that means Erica is free to just come this way. Alright, and since he could use the longbow anyway, we can just build supports there. So, theoretically, Garcia lives. Yeah, Garcia lives. Honestly, that might just be the best bet of just... Put Garcia here. Do I just... Or I could theoretically just explode the wall and dance next turn. Exploding the wall and dancing next turn seems like the better option. And these guys will probably not make it back in time to do anything useful, but they didn't die, so good enough. stop having evil eye at any time during this playthrough? Probably not. Well, maybe later, but for right now, no. Oof, Mr. Thief Man, you have 10 movement? Thunder... Poison Sword. Okay, so neither of those are threatening. And Thunder doesn't even hurt Natasha, so Natasha can... Go down that way. What's your speed? 20. 15. Oh, you have an iron sword, though. Uh, actually, thieves are bonus experience, so... Do I give it to Seth or Erica? I think I actually give that to Seth, then, because Erica is getting plenty of experience, and she has um, 
plenty to go. All right, Seth level. Perfect. That's what they would want from in vanilla anyway. Well, it's a good thing that I planned to explode this wall. Even better. 100% chance to take out a shaman that would 100% kill somebody is wonderful. And I just have to Seth, get Seth over to those two chests. Oh, that guy has like no movement either, so this is very safe. I think we just get. We'll send Gilliam over just to, so Gilliam can maybe do something and get boss experience. I know there's not any more reinforcements, but anxiety compels me to move these units forward. Poisoning Gilliam does nothing, he is at full health. I probably could have turned Garcia's animations on since he's using a fire tone and doing more fighting than not. the door even if Seth opens the door. So we will open the door. And I guess we'll just send well I guess we'll see if Calm can take him out. Not guaranteed. So Calm will go here. Vanessa will follow up. Garcia will follow Erica and friends. Let's have Gilliam get some experience, just because we might need if um, Siegmund might be good. Don't know if it will be good, but it could be good. How does Evil Act? Okay, so he actually has... Oh dang, he actually has a decent amount of attack. He might kill him. Oh, yeah, no, Gilliam's not going to fight him. We'll get someone up to fight him. Honestly, probably Garcia is the person to do it. So I can go on the pillar. Yeah, the crit. In, even off of a crit poison wouldn't um, do anything. Okay, that's not... Grab Garcia. We 
will enemy phase that just to be safe. Not that we're doing an Iron Man style at all this particular game, but better safe, better safe than not since I didn't use any auxiliary time saves if something should go wrong because we don't want to lose our 9 move Mage Knight. Well, being able to use Flux is good enough. Hero Crest. Kyle, what level? That changes things a little bit. This is Orion's Bowl. That does, that also potentially changes things. That makes Ford really usable if this guy didn't have a ton of defense, because then Ford could theoretically become a ranger and um, yeah. I just want to see how badly Gilliam will die. Gilliam technically hits for three with 100% accuracy. Um, can you rescue? You can rescue Kyle, except you don't have the. Yeah, we're just gonna play this safe. We're gonna let Garcia fight um, Torado, and so we're not gonna. And we'll be very happy that we got those promotion items next round. All right, playing around the crits, very impressive. And that was a boatload of experience terrible level but you know what that's okay when you have, when you're a nine move mage knight that is um pretty irrelevant all right let's get out of here all right thank you all for joining me um I guess next time I'll probably have decided which which route I'm going. With Ephraim only being stuck at three move, rescuing Dussel's gonna be a major pain. Phantom ship is gonna be a pain. Trying to get anywhere in Grotto Keep is gonna be a pain. So for the sake of my own sanity, I'm probably gonna still just go Erica's route. But actually that means it's just one on one since Hector and the bosses went um went to Grotto and in the first um much more tame randomizer I did I went Erica's route so it's not that much bias um, but I hope you all are enjoying this series um, thank you so much for your time and I hope you all have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next video see ya